Welcome to another video from Mr. Long's Teacher Tips and we're going to look at part three of our Google Form series and how we can get the data from those that are filled in the form or quiz. So let's just go through how we fill in the, the quiz or the form. So we've got the link over here where we can see what the form looks like. Let's just go enter in some data. So yeah, I'm going to enter in a surname. So I'm going to put in Jones as a surname. Uh, what do you want to learn in this camp? We want to learn about leadership. And what class? I'm just going to put some random data in. Uh, so they want to select multiple things. They want to be in a different group. So I'm just filling in some answers here quickly. They can arrive at 11.23. The birth date. Obviously, the problem with the birth date is the year. So we're just going to go change that year to some sort of respectable year. If you want to upload a file, when you click on it, it'll ask you if you want to upload from this device or from your drive and so on. So you can do things like that. I'm going to leave that for now. Um, let's fill in our little survey. Yes, 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 yes. And we want a couple of meals. Let's do that. Okay. So now when I click on submit, you'll see that that custom message that we set in the previous video, there you can see it's been done and we can submit another. So now that I've filled in the form, let's go back to the actual form where we created all the details. So I'm filling in all these forms. And so I want you to take note here at the responses. It tells me how many people have responded to this particular survey. I've gone and filled it in six times. That last time was the sixth time. And now we can see a nice little summary of all the responses. So there we go. You can see what the people have filled in for each question. There's nice little uh, graphs for, especially when there's multiple choice and so on. So you can see what people have filled in for different options. There you can see that. So there's a lovely little way of seeing how um, the answers are being arranged and so on. So there you can see the different birth dates and so on. Uh, uploaded, only one person uploaded the image. So we can see what that image is. Um, and then also just a little side note, you, if you go to your where your form is, a folder got created and in that folder there's a whole bunch of this is where all the files will be saved that were downloaded and so on so there's that one image of the one person that filled in which was obviously me but as all the different files will be stored there and you'll see it'll be whatever the file's name is and who was the person that filled it in so there you go so you got access to those options so any file that's uploaded will be in a special folder where your google form is so there we go. You can see all these lovely little results and so on like that. So lovely little charts that's done for you. So you can do that. You can, you can check each question um, individually. So you can see like all the what all the questions are, how many responded and so on. So you can look at each question individual of each individual question, or you can check each individual entry. So you can see what this person entered, and you can move to a different person and say, okay, so this is what Smith said. And this is what the third person says. You can see all their individual answers. So you do have all those little options available over here. But what happens if you want to analyze this in a spreadsheet? Well, over here, you can see, you can say create a spreadsheet. And so we want to create a spreadsheet. You've got these little options over here. We can download them. You can print them if you want. You can either, you can also select response destination. And so on. you can actually get an email notification. So you can do that. You can stop accepting responses. There's a little thing. So if you want to stop people from filling in the form, you can do that as well. But let's go look at what this create a spreadsheet option looks like. So we can create a brand new spreadsheet or we can go make it in an existing one. We're going to create a brand new one. And so it's now opening up Google Sheets, which is very similar to Excel. So this is our Google Sheets. And if I go here to my folder, you'll see there is our Google Sheets. So that's our actual form. And this is a Google Sheet of the responses. So there you can see you've got all these lovely options. It shows you what the timestamp is. It tells you what they answered for each question and so on. You can see some of them didn't even answer certain questions. And if I move across, I can see each and every answer. If I move this way. Let's just move across so you can see you can see there's a link to the file that was uploaded for the one person um in questions for example the check boxes so yeah you can see which of the following they have to break them down into different little bits for us so you can get each individual answer on which days do you need so there we go so it's very easy to analyze this data using lovely formulas in um, excel but the problem is like this isn't excel um so what you can do is you can actually go here to file and you can actually download and I get to download you can download this as an Excel file and if I do that it will st it'll take all this data and download it for me into a thing, uh, Excel file and it will store it um, I can save it to my fold to my, my, my 
drive there we go you can see it's busy downloading it and i can then save this on a particular place on my computer and i can have access to this in excel so that's how you can get all the data and so on so you can work you can work in google sheets there's some lovely features here that you can make use of um, but if you want to use excel then you can just go get it from excel and it'll look exactly like this and you can start using count ifs and stuff like that to try to do analysis on these different um, responses so there we go that's how you get your responses from your google form and it's that easy so google forms very useful for doing um, surveys and and quizzes um, it's very useful so that you can get information from your students and be able to present it in some sort of format if you want so hopefully this series has been useful that you've learned how to use google forms and how you can actually make your own surveys for your class so go make some surveys good luck if you missed the previous parts to this video series go to our youtube channel click on the playlist or leave a like leave a comment or even subscribe and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way